Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I guess if you've been following along with my home renovation, went antique shopping already. So I have a couple of antique pieces to like paint and bring up. And if I go back, I'll bring you with me. But right now I have these dressers that my mom actually got and she antiqued them herself. And this video might be called glowing down my antique furniture because my mom did the most beautiful blue dressers and handles and even the mantle, the fireplace, a couple years ago when we lived in our old house. And sorry, my dog is like. So yeah, she like painted them and antiqued them and made them look really nice. I am gonna be technically glowing them down to fit my aesthetic more. I didn't want a lot of color, so if you saw my, um, renovation video for my bedroom with the flooring and the the wall color i'm going for like a medieval slash palace of versailles so there's a lot of dark wood and then the walls are very light and i'm gonna i'm gonna fill up those walls like those walls are gonna be filled up with picture frames mirrors um like antique like gold like i have i have a couple of things to show you there's this piece that i just showed you also we have this mantle here the last piece that I want to show you and these aren't antiques that I bought like these are my mom's things that she just doesn't really want anymore I may or may not get it it's in the front room um, she just got it and as soon as I saw it I was like I want that it reminds me of Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast but or the big dresser woman from Beauty it just reminds me of the characters from Beauty and the Beast I might paint this also she just painted it like last week but I'm gonna I might take this and I just like how it comes out at the sides. It just reminds me of a character from Beauty and the Beast, like when the dresser was alive. This is impossible. I know it is, but here we are. It's way bigger than it looks. I'm gonna pretty much try to drag this dresser all the way up to the top floor um, before I paint it because I don't wanna go through the sanding and the painting just for me to realize that it can't make it upstairs and I have to get something different. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Maybe I should bring it up the front steps because these steps are a little bit more narrow than those front steps there. Just like a deadlift. Oh my God. There's a lip to the step. Hang on. This table is so much bigger than I thought it was. All right, if you could see my face, the sweat is real but me and mom finally got the thing up there and my makeup is all coming off i need a bath i will resume this sanding and painting tomorrow oh wait i could start stripping the paint off of the handles tonight though They're gold underneath. Okay, so the few antiques that I have, I'm gonna show you because I think I wanna start painting them and finding bolts to hang them up with tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you them now while they're in their most natural state before I destroy them. But look at this, between this tight squeeze and like this tight area here, this was a nightmare to get up here and it's so heavy because it's not like that flimsy, like Ikea stuff, it's like heavy wood, so. But me and my mom did it. Um, I have this and I have all these drawers here. I'm gonna stand them tonight. First, I have these two really pretty, um, they're called, I forget what they're called, like backwards glass painting. 
so or like inverted glass painting so the person who painted this like the painting is on the glass itself so they kind of did the painting from the inside out if that makes sense and i really just got these for these frames one of them is a little bit bigger than the other but i plan on scraping the paintings out i know people have been saying that the paintings themselves are what's really worth the money but i really personally just bought them for the frame i have this mirror here which i'd like to put up here and then this slightly bigger mirror here which i'd also like to put right up there i think that with these mirrors i'm going to try to hang them and get them on the wall before i paint them because personally i like to just have it hung and like set so that i can paint it and then just forget about it because i hate painting it and then having to wait for it to dry and then the anticipation is building up you just want to hang it up right so i am going to hang it and then i'm gonna paint it because i'm my mind is just chaos i have this picture frame this was in my old house this is i don't know my mom's had this since like before i was born but it's a pretty big picture frame um i don't know what i'm gonna put in it yet i might paint something i might put a mirror in it i might leave it empty i kind of like the look of an empty picture frame don't ask me why um and then there's this big hanging um table here that i absolutely fell in love with and i was told not to buy it but i got it and it is all right let me try to show it to you it's on the ground now but it's basically a floating table and it's gold and it just goes on the wall and i think that it would be i think that it would be so beautiful hanging on the wall with like a hairbrush and a decorative mirror and it's like when i think of that i just think of like right before you go to bed just like brushing your hair and like braiding it or like putting it up or something and going to bed it's kind of like i don't know it's probably stupid but that's how i feel about it i got two of these they just kind of go on the wall like that and you can just put like a candle on them or like a perfume or really like whatever you want um my mom's friend also gave me these little wall candle holders so these also remind me of what's his name lamar Le, Le, lumiere these remind me of lumiere from beauty everything i'm doing up here is so beauty and the beast even though i'm going for like renaissance -y slash french chateau like everything it just reminds me of beauty and the beast and i love it All right, we have a new shocking discovery. The back of this mirror is supposed to have, you can see the holes for it if this bitch will focus. There's a hole for a little like, um, I don't know, like a little key thing. And then there's supposed to be like a wire that attaches to this side and then that'll hang the mirror. Um, kind of like this picture frame. You see how it has like that little, oh my God. You see how it has like that little keyhole thing and then it like, goes across to hang something. So this big mirror doesn't have one. I've been to the home improvement store today. I feel like I've been there every day this week and I don't wanna go back. So I'm gonna hang the small one because it does have a wire attached to it. Like hopefully the stud in this wall is centered. Let me tell you, I'm doing this now and I love it. I enjoy like DIYing and like building a room so I can look around and be like, yes, I did that by myself, but I don't know that I'll ever do this again. This whole, this whole experience, this whole series is literally me proving to me that I can do something. So loving this for the moment, but definitely not gonna do it in any other homes I get. All right, so I brought the mirror over to see where I want it. This isn't entirely in the center, this stud here, but I think that 
I'm gonna put the mirror centered on this one because I don't care about shit being symmetrical. If anybody can relate, please. I don't give a shit about symmetrical. I don't have like OCD to the point where everything has to be lined up. I think I actually have the opposite of that because I just don't like when shit is like matching, if that makes sense. So this bitch can go like right there. And I think that's like a good look. I think it's cute. It's like it's not too close to the window and I like clutter. I like chaos and like I'll have space here for like a little something else. I don't know. It's a good thing I know how to spackle and like repaint. So like if anything goes wrong, I have some spackle on hand. And you also want to be careful to like not split the wood. So like when you put a screw into wood, it can split because the screw isn't really, the screw isn't really making a hole. It's kind of like expanding it. And if I split the wood, I'm essentially, for lack of a better word, fucked. Is she centered? Is she centered? Should I have to put it in deeper? Wait a minute. Um, it'd be cute if it was a little more flush to the wall though, right? Should I just get a shorter drill bit? A sh I might be going back to Lowe's. Because I want it flush to the wall. Now I know that it's hanging from a wire. It's not gonna be flush to the wall, but I want it as flush to the wall as possible. It physically can't go in any further here. I think four and a half inches was a tad bit too long for these walls, for these studs. This is what it's like working with somebody or doing anything with somebody who has like ADHD because mm -hmm. I was hanging stuff and I was gonna finish painting, but now I kind of want to hang my chandelier. So I am going for the medieval renaissance slash French chateau glam room look. My mom doesn't really want me working with like electricity, but I took those fans down and I did the electrical for that. I took that light down. I installed a sconce downstairs and I was looking at these wires and there is a a green, white, and black, and then I looked at the wires on my chandelier, and it's also green, white, and black. Now, the sconce that I did downstairs, the wires were all silver, so that was kind of just a guessing game, and I, maybe I could have died, but I didn't. I'm gonna do the one above the steps myself because, first of all, I know how to hang a chandelier, okay? And the wires are matching in this one, so I just want to... I just want to do it like I want a light that I can flip the switch down there and I don't have to to get chased by monsters while I'm turning on that light you know I was just hanging my light and mom came home and she was like can you not so I guess I'll just resume painting tonight and wait for the electrician <laughs> very last piece of furniture I need to bring into my room is this mantle and I'm gonna do my best I might have to recruit my mom you know what's crazy is these were originally this shade of gold and then my mom painted them a hammered metal look and now i'm just doing gold again i should have done paint stripper okay so here's my dilemma i these little slots in here only hold these nails they don't hold the like big like the heavy duty bolts that i have so these are the only nails that like fit in here i do not have a drill bit that is small enough for this to like go into the wall and actually hold the only thing that i could use with a regular size drill bit to hold this in the wall is one of these little like 
hole fillers. I only have one of these that I found that fits this screw that would actually work. So I'm just gonna go to bed. It is too damn hot up here and I am inhaling so much spray paint right now. I can't think straight. I just ordered a pizza. Okay, I sweated just about all my makeup off. Putting this thing up, I could not find the screws with the little thingies. So anyway, it's not crooked, it looks crooked. I think my floor is crooked. Everything in this house is crooked, it's very old. Now I'm looking at it, I kinda wanna be a little bit more gold, but I don't know. I can't decide if I wanna make it bright gold or not. All right, we are going antique shopping for the sole purpose to find gargoyles. All I want is two little baby gargoyles in my house. I've always wanted gargoyles. Mom never let me get them for the front of the house, so they're gonna go into my room. It's getting dark out, but I found my little baby gargoyles today. And I think that they are so pretty. I've literally dreamed of having gargoyles my whole life. And then at this end, we have this guy. I don't know what their names are yet, but... Oh my goodness, why am I so blurry? Hello? I don't know what their names are gonna be yet, but... I'll figure it out as we go along. And then these books, I have these old, old books. I actually don't know how old they are. Maybe they're not that old. But since I was, my dad's had these. I don't know how long he's had these. Definitely since before I was born. But when I was really young, I don't remember how young, but from a very young age, I kept telling him, I was like, dad, if you're ever getting rid of these books, I want the books. So in perfect timing, he texted me like, like a week or two ago and said, I'm moving. Do you want the books? And I was like, yes, I'll take the books. So today um, I went and picked up my books, my new collection. There's more over there. Um, he's, he's, he was always really big into like American history. So they're mainly history books, but I think that they're so pretty. This used to be, this was in my mom's living room and now we moved and it was in the dining room. And I think she's gonna get another one for the dining room. So I, um, I swiped this one but I don't know how to turn it on. I think that this mirror is just gonna stay on the ground for a little while because the back of it needs reinforcing and it's super heavy. And um, yeah, she's gonna stay like that for a minute. I also forgot, I wanted to put these up. I wanted to put these up on like either side of the mantle. I hope the mantle could stay there because if it moves over, then I'm gonna have to like spackle and then redo these things. But I think I just wanna put them up now and get it over with. Okay. Anyway, I just have to clean up here. I'm not gonna set up my bed up here because I guess I might as well spill the beans in this video. I'm moving. I'll be like living part-time in Japan and then I'll be coming here. So I have my room set up here as soon as I clean up and everything. Um, so I'm gonna bring the parts to my bed up and then when I come back 
from Japan to visit, I'll like set up my bed on that platform and there'll be more renovation videos. Like I'm not done up here by any means. Like by the end of this video, I won't be done up here. Um, because I'll just obviously be back and forth so much that I'll be doing new things all the time. Is one brow lifting before the... Okay, I got Botox in my eyebrows like a week ago and I think sometimes one lifts before the other. This one looks a little high to me. Whatever. Besides the point. So, yeah. This is my last renovation video for up here um, before I leave in like literally like a week. A little over a week. Like 10 days. And yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't know how to announce that I'm going to Japan. I guess it doesn't really need an announcement, but like I'm moving to Japan. I wanted to get this place done. So I went and got my gargoyles. I got some things set up. I'm work, I'm gonna, I gotta finish my closet downstairs. My closet is almost done, but it's gonna be like an empty closet because you know, I'm bringing clothes with me. So that's annoying. Yeah, that's what's happening. I got the fireplace to work. So when I come back in the winter, I'll be nice and toasty. I want to get a couch for this side of the room up here. As of now, I don't know where these picture frames are going. I think I'm going to leave them leaned up against the wall. And also all of the light switches. I have so many light switches and outlets in this room. I don't know why there's so many. But over time, I'm going to accumulate um, like antique light switches, like antique gold light switches. Um, I'm gonna get a couch up here. I'd like to get like, I don't know, like a coffee maker or something so I could have my coffee and not have to go down four flights of steps. Like if you watch the house tour, it's like a really big old house and I just don't want to walk down, not four flights of steps, I'm exaggerating, but I don't want to walk down all those steps to have to get my coffee or tea in the morning, whatever it is. I change up all the time. Sometimes I drink coffee, sometimes I drink tea. Sometimes I drink pre-workout like a crackhead. Um, just now realizing I'm an actual dumbass. Look at this. I'll deal with that tomorrow. But for future reference, don't do that. And here is my finished bedroom tour. I wouldn't really call it finished. It's still going to be a little bit more of a work in progress. Like things are very clearly unfinished. But this is what I have now. And this is all I'm doing as of right now. So I'm also not really showing my face because I just don't look good. Diesel, Diesel, get out. Oh my God, oh my gosh, wait. Oh, you can see me a little bit. I just look like shit, but like, I didn't do anything with the bathroom. All I did was hang up some robes in there. But anyway, this is, Diesel, would you move your ass? <laughs> okay, so anyway, I did this dresser. So this dresser is gonna be all towels and pajamas and socks and underwear because the bathroom is right. I just have like pajamas, um, socks, underwear, no rhyme or reason. Also, I don't fold my socks or my underwear. I don't feel the need to. Um, and there's also, there's like, there's no order as to where things are in here. I really just like put like things together and threw them in. Couple pairs of slippers. Um, I have a lot more that are like packed away. I have like these little things. I've had this since I was very young. I love this little crow statue. It's like backwards. I love this little crow statue. Um, I have my little things to write letters. I can stamp my initials. Some, I don't know what that is. That goes in there and like diffuses oil or whatever. This, I really love. It's kind of dirty, but it's really cute. Eventually, I'm going to stain this the same color as the floor, but for now, it's like this lighter color. That platform there, I still don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm kind of just taking suggestions from people now because I have like I don't have the slightest clue for what I want to do there. And then we go this way. And that's just that has to get put away. And it is still a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Like there's only so much I can do, okay? Like I've been working on this for a long time and there's that really ugly AC there because me and mom, like we were bringing things up from my other bedroom, like boxes and it was so hot. So we just brought that up from the basement. That's not staying there by any means though. Um, so in there is all pajamas. I don't know what is in this Burberry or Louis bag, but. Um, so then we come over here and I brought this dresser up. I got this dresser with that bed and like some other pieces of furniture when I was very young. It has to get painted and it's not going to stay there, but it's going to get painted the same color as the walls. Um, and I have to clean it out because I haven't used it since, oh God, don't look at me. I haven't used it since I was so young, but basically right now there's like shelving in here and like, you know, I wrote with lipstick all over the place cause I'm a child. 
um, but I have that bar, I don't know if you can see it, that's gonna go across the top of there and I'm gonna hang my silk pajamas in here and then I think more socks and underwear will go down there because I have them in that dresser over there now and they're just like not fitting. And I also wanna be able to put towels in that dresser. But anyway, yeah, this isn't gonna happen now, um, but it's here, I can store things in there, pajamas, everything. And then we have this table and I'm gonna get a mirror from here. My mom said I could have the mirror out of her bathroom when she's done using it, so I just kind of have to wait for that. But as of now, I just threw some candles up here and those sconces are still on the ground. I didn't hang them yet and I'm not gonna hang them until I hang the mirror. Um, this ladder is my sister's and we have one finished chandelier. If you can see this chandelier a little bit better, I mean, it really, it's so bright. I didn't expect it to be so bright, but I worked on this this morning and it was not an easy task. Every little jewel and gem came just separate. And I had to deal with that as soon as I woke up and it was awful. Um, those doors, like all of the closet doors, I think I'm gonna put onlays on just to make them decorative and like paint the onlays gold or something. The bed. Also, I have the rest of the pieces to the bed, but since I'm not sleeping up here right now, I am moving to Japan. Um, I'm going to keep the bed like this, and then when I come back, I will remove the paint from the bed and set it up up here. And I'm going to get like a little thingy. And over here, we have the pieces to this chandelier, which is very sad and not put together at all. Um, we have these pictures. Still don't know where I want to put those. I think that those will be one of the last things to go up just because they are little accent pieces and I have to scrape the paint from the back of them and I think I'm going to do my own painting on there. But yeah, these are the pieces to this chandelier that's not finished yet. We have that mirror that you saw me um, struggle to hang. I was very nervous hanging that. I'm still nervous about it hanging there. And we have this, don't look at that, <laughs> oh my god. We have this, oh wait, and also this is not. And then here we have my mantle, which you saw me set up. Oh, so I have like paint on here, but I don't want this paint to stick to these books because these books are very old. Um, and then they'll take the paint, the paint will adhere to these. So I got this little strip that came with the chandeliers and my mom today took everything off of here and like reset these up. And I kind of like how cluttered it looks. If you know me, I hate organization. I think that things just, I don't know, like I don't like symmetrical things. I don't like organized things. I don't like that. So I have my mugs from the Renaissance Fair. I love these. I have my little gargoyle babies. I got my candles. I got all of it. And I have a little picture frame back there. That still needs reinforcing in the back. I think I told you about it. Um, these two things here are very poorly hung by the one and only. And I don't know what I'm gonna put up there yet. Maybe like a, just a little candlestick. Um, and then I have this big, beautiful thing. I really want like a wooden, a, it'll have to be custom made at some point, but I really would like just like a wooden shutter to cover this whole thing where I have like the two doors on the side and I can open and then I can like pull the thing up there and that like opens the blinds. If you know what I mean, I, I don't know, like a little Cinderella moment. This. I was really dumb when I set this up and I had my carpet rolled back because I was painting over here. Um, and then I brought this over and like, I didn't think it was gonna be permanent, but then it ended up being permanently there. And then I ended up setting it up and I was like, oh, but the carpet. So it's like, I might go full lazy mode and cut the carpet, but I don't think I should. My mom will actually yell at me if I cut my carpet. So one day I'll take it apart and like put that under there. Here I have like some more books. These are just photo albums that I took all the pictures out of. I don't know, these books were just full of pictures of people who could go to hell. And mm, I don't know, oh my bag came in there. We have a couple robes over here. I didn't want to put them in the bathroom because they'll get dusty and obviously these are like furry. Literally the most I'm doing with my room. I have that ugly ass fan there because it was so hot up here. And then these boxes here are just all candles um that i have to put somewhere i honestly will probably give them away i've been giving so much stuff away these are all pajamas like anybody who comes into my house and says like oh i like that oh i like that i'm like please take it 
Um, this is very unfinished. This is my US home. I will be building another home in Japan. We got a house. It's a cute little blue house. It looks like a Tiffany's box. It's the most gorgeous thing. And I'll be renovating my bedroom, my closet, my kitchen, my living room. So I guess if you want to watch those, you can. I mean, they'll be slow. They'll, I don't know how when they're going to go up. Yeah, so anyway, if you like these kind of videos or you just like stupid like vlog videos of me doing nothing, I will be posting more since I'll have so much more time on my hands. Um, I'm going to try to post every week. I'm going to try to make that a goal of mine, whether it's like a vlog or like a home renovation video. But yeah, and then I mean, obviously, I'm not done with this room. Like as I come back and like I'll be going back and forth a lot. So as I come back, I'll do more with this room. And obviously like I'll make videos out of that too. Maybe I'll do like another antique shopping day, like a big antique shopping day. But for now, that is my room. Um, if you made it this far in this renovation series, that's actually amazing. I don't know if I would have sat through it, but thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in Japan because that's where I'll be next.